Minecraft tutorial video. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to build a medieval or normal house, depending on how you look at it. So, let's get straight into it. Now, one thing that is very important is that you get your foundation correct. Now, you can make any foundation, but it can't just be a nice, simple rectangle like this. This is what you call a very, very, very bad foundation. And I'm going to show you how to do a very, well, a quite good one. And one way you can do that is kind of just making an unpredictable pattern. And another way you can do this is literally just going and making the pattern as you go along. So, I'll show you what my pattern is at the end. So, I've built a little bit of a foundation here. It kind of looks like a gravestone from this angle. Not meant to be though. And you want to make it out of cobblestone. You can make this any pattern you like. I would suggest building these two sort of the same length though. So, let's go into the next step. So, we're on to the next step. This one is quite easy. So you want to go one in, so you've got your cobblestone foundation here. And you want to go around four high, like this. And you want to put it all the way around your build. The next step is to put spruce logs on each one of these corners. Going up to that four build height, right there. And you just want to do this on all your corners around your shape. So, you have got all of your little columns in place. Now, it's time to e to put in the next floor. And I think I'm going to put in the next floor right now. So, let's change it today. There we go. And now we can start with the next floor. You want to have it around five high, so one higher than the other. And have it one edged out. So, you want to have it right out on top of those boost logs that you placed before. Now you can have two ideas for this. On the inside ones, you can either do this. You can either have it like that, where it will look like these beams are going up with the building. Or you can not have that and you can just go like this. Now I'm going to keep it so it has the spruce hogs going up like this. But you can choose it either way. So let's say you have done all that and you've got your second floor all done. Now it's on to the next bit, which is the roof. We'll go through all the minor details last. So to do this, you're going to want to have some dark oak or light or the spruce stairs. I'm going to do spruce. And you just want to have them in a nice little overhang pattern like this. And you can either just do it all the way around and go into the middle. Or you can do the idea in which I didn't. Why is there a wandering trader in my house? Hmm? Anyway, you can either do it all the way around like this, and I'm going to do it so it stops one from the edge, so it has a little bit of an overhang. And you can just replace this bit with spruce. So, let's do a time lapse of me doing just that. <laughs> So, let's say you've done all of your roof and you got it all nice and spruced up. And from the front of this, you have two different ideas you can do. You can either have these back walls one back or you can have them pretty much right in your face. I prefer them to have a bit of layering, so I think putting them one back is better. So if you haven't already done that, please do so. So, Let's say you put them all in the back and you've all got this nice little space here. Now one way you can do this to cover up these little these little spruce logs here is put a nice row of spruce slabs on the top on all of these. 
So I'm just going to do this and then we can go on to the fine tuning. So you've got your front of your build and you're all ready for the little details. Now you want to have on a nice little area like this. You want to put some glass panes in areas like here. I'm not going to be doing the interior in this video. But if you do want to see that, make sure to leave the video a like. And if we hit 15 likes on this video, I will do a part 2 where I do the interior of these houses. So let's continue putting these. And these actually look pretty nice. If we put normal glass on there, it won't look as good. So we got all this done. You may also want to add a nice little balcony sort of thing all around here. You can put all sorts of stuff on that. I'm just going to leave it like that. So from the front, it does look a bit better. We may want to change that. You may want to put some flowers and stuff on here. You can also add some vines. Some vines would look good as well. At different heights. You can just leave them there and then they'll eventually grow. And that's just one area you can do. Next is the little garden in front. Now there's multiple different ways you can do this. One of them is to do with your biome or setting. My one's in quite a flat setting, so I can pretty much do whatever I like. But you can do a nice batches of leaves, like this, just spamming them pretty much. You can also do like a nice little path, going up to what will eventually be your door. You can have them in path blocks, they look pretty nice for the job. And then you can also have some nice little jungle stairs to go up to your double door that will eventually be here. Again, you can add some windows in this area, right. So we've done the little front area of the house right here. And now we can go on to the big beefy stuff right here. Now you can again put some nice glass panes in this area right here. So it's kind of like a roof window. I'm going to put some on here as well. Most of your roofs could not have this because otherwise it'll look like someone's going to be looking at you all the time but I think it just adds a nice extra detail to this build you can also add more windows into here this is going to be a very open house if you haven't already realized another thing you can do though instead of adding the normal stairs is you can add some trap doors on either side you can have them spruce or oak doesn't really matter and just had them like this and they kind of look like little boundaries and I'm going to do the same on this side as well let's say you want to have some vines let's say right here but you only want them to grow down to one down from here let's see if we can nope we can't place it they will eventually go down to there and the way you can stop this from going any further is if you can see there's a bit of string there and you can just leave that there and they won't grow any longer down and from afar if unless you're really looking for it you won't be able to see so that means you can do different little layers of vines and that's like this one's already growing now down to the bottom layer you're now down to the bottom layer of it and you want this to look quite nice so you want to add some nice vines all across here and maybe add a few of these trapdoors along the bottom while you're at it and that could look good and if you really want this to be open you can just add a few more windows into the top right here I think we are done with the this side I'm going to copy it on this side as well now let's go on to the back of the build so we are at the back of the build right now and we're going to make it a bit different than the front so we're going to have a nice little area which connects all this and makes this area a bit shaded so a way we can do this is having a nice little area around here which can block this area from the sun don't know why you'd want that but we can just have a nice little area right here and one way you can do this is adding slabs slabs look quite nice and then you can just tower them up like this all the way 
around just like this and another thing you can do is from down here you can either add some nice oak or spruce ones so let me get some oak so you can see what it looks like so you can add some nice oak ones going down like this to the floor just like this and one way to make this look a little bit more green as well is by adding more vines across here and you know this house is already um, nice and blast up but just add some nice extra windows if you want to more feel more open on the back as well and you can look in on this bit in the middle also add some ones right here just just so it looks nice now we're going back to the ones over here now here you can actually go back to those stairs if you want you can go back to the stairs but you can also add a little bit of a balcony like this for like if you want to have some nice little wildlife growing on your little balcony here you can also have a window right here which is going to be quite a big one and we'll do the same on this side as well now if you do have these plants you may want to add a little bit of a fence around them and not, hopefully not to kill them but also this this does not look good so you may want to add some spruce stairs underneath that with some spruce slabs covering that dirt and if you feel really fancy you may even want to put these stairs one down and then add these and then add stairs on top so it looks like they're all going down like this so now we're back down to the bottom level now with this bottom level you can do multiple things again but with this inner bit I would like to copy what I did on the other side because I think that looks pretty cool with these nice flat open windows but you will see because we had this little little rain shader over here we actually it's actually quite dark down here so we want to add some nice torches on these little beams around here just to just to lighten up the place also if you don't like to look at this just going up you can also add some slabs around here just to smoothen out the area and back down to these areas down here we want to have two windows over here and two and one window over here because it's different lengths so if you wish you can add a little bit of bone meal around your place just to make it look a bit more green as for me doing these little areas around here you can also either do the same like this on that side I'm probably going to do that design over here but you can also just add some windows and leave it as that so our front has started growing with these vines and I've noticed that on the far side over here we haven't done anything so I created it and it starts to rain luckily we can go under our little roof down here and wait till it's over there we go and one detail you can do on this side is to have a little window like this we've got some nice spruce stairs on here along with the trap doors and the windows and we got some torches on the side like this now the final thing which you can do is if you have one of these in your shape then you can just add a nice little outward outlook just like this which you can add a nice little window you can add a nice little window through your staircase right here to the little drop out of your build and i think that's just about it thank you everyone for watching if you enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more minecraft content good